I don't know if you guys can see, but oh my god, this camera is sick. Well, hello, friends. So, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Some things never change, like, there's always a mess in the background. Sometimes, when it's a filming day or a photo shoot day, like, my place is just upside down. Like, I just. So excuse the mess. <laughs> um, so I just finished doing my makeup. <laughs> Don't look at me. So I just finished doing my makeup. Um, I'm about to head out to do a shoot and I want you guys to come along with me. Um, I'm wearing this like green blazer dress and blazer dresses never really work for me. I always have to size up because it's just, the curves are curving, so I'm hoping it doesn't look too big up top um, because it fits the lower level of my body, which is it's just giving a bit oversized. But maybe I can make like the oversized look work. I don't know, but I tried on the small, and the small was like it almost fit like it was tailored to me up until like I had to like button it up. But anyways, I'm wearing this green ensemble. Um, I absolutely love it, uh, and. I'm kind of, I don't know whether to wear these like orange sunglasses. Ugh. I'm not sure whether to have these or a white pair of sunglasses. I'm not entirely sure just yet. I'm gonna pack both of them uh, just in case and probably shoot with both because I'm indecisive. But um, anyway, I really love the pop of color, the simplicity of it all. My hair is still wrapped up in a mendel because we set it and then forget it. So I'm just waiting for like the last moment to take it off. But I'm gonna take you on this photo shoot with me, so I hope you guys enjoy. Oh, and makeup details will be listed below. I'm loving this like super orange blush moment. Like I really, really, really love it. Um, so you will be seeing that in a lot of my content, honestly, um, but I'm trying on this new foundation. I don't know if I like it. I typically love the Fenty Beauty foundation, but they discontinued the one that I like, which is the hydrating foundation. I don't know why they discontinued it, but anyway, the color that I do have is my skin tone in the winter. So I'm trying this like L'Oreal situation. I'm hoping it it's coming off okay in like real life. It's giving like skin. So we'll see. And I've like powdered my face like a thousand times, but like it's humid in Toronto. It's hot in Toronto. And I'm not complaining because I live for this weather, but it's just, it's giving dewy. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's cute, but sometimes it's like, ugh, it's a bit too much. But anyways, come along with me on my photo shoot. I'm also really nervous. Ooh, I think that's my photographer. <laughs> I'll be right back. Ooh. No, she's mine. Like, <laughs> okay. yeah, this guy is showing up. Oh, okay, mean? nice. Oh, perfect. Oh, yeah, you can come in and help me out. Okay. If, if whatever she's like, whatever she's like. Absolutely. First, just give us straight ahead. Or like just at you? Straight ahead, looking at me. Give some with like your face looking at her. So that's gonna be like a three quarter. But people also like the aloof, mysterious, looking away. Now give us a little bit more regal. 
a little bit more. I'm not here for it. Oh, <laughs> gorgeous. Hold that. Amazing. Give us some shape with your arms. This is what I need help with. <laughs> That's cool. So, <laughs> help me. <laughs> what does shape with the arms look like? Okay, so like sometimes I've also seen like people like do some, some stuff like this where they put this. Creating triangles and shapes with your legs. She loves a good leg out. Now, I don't know if that transfers well with this particular Wait, jacket, yeah. No. but it may not go quite well. For now, because she's not wearing shoes, I'm doing more. Oh, it's up just here. Yep. Okay. And then we'll switch it up. Okay. Yeah. Yep. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. I feel a little silly, but it's fine. <laughs> I know it feels silly, but trust me, okay. it looks beautiful. Got it. And nobody's judging, so. Oh, some portraits. Is this okay? So, we'll take your body up? this way. We'll take your body that way. Because the sun is here. Yeah. Oh. yeah. So you have to do all the somatic things from this hand. But do I look at you? Uh, no, for well, now, just look to the light. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up just a little bit, yeah. Eyes up, higher up. You're beautiful, believe it. So, for now, because the sun is higher, yeah, it's, yeah. Close your eyes if you need to. Thank you. Okay, because, yeah. Got it, okay. Yeah, okay. Are the hands awkward or are they okay? You're going to do it to me here, right? Got it. Up, chin up,
so sick. Mm -hmm. Those shoes look nice. Thanks. I'm like, what? I just realized I see through on the side. I know. Breathable. Thanks. And I'll pay by card, please. Oh, thanks. Thank you. I was getting worried about that. <laughs> 10 out of 10 customer service, baby. That's customer service. Sometimes with the shot of espresso, it like, it gets caught like right here. And the anxiety I have that it's gonna like spill or like dip, dip on my outfit. And speaking of which, it just did. No! It's okay, I have wipes. See, look, he caught the ones up here, but he didn't catch the one right here. All good though. Miss Keen. He was so sweet though. Look, from the cup. Ugh. Shout out to me for having wipes though. I literally got up in the morning to wash this outfit. So it's okay. Just gonna make sure. <laughs> I'm like blocking the people from drive th for the drive through or at least to like exit. Sorry. I said sorry. Dang! You know what? His head was in the right space and he was really sweet about it. So I ain't gonna hold, Ooh, wait. I'm not gonna hold him. My only thing is like, this is fresh up, like out of the dryer, like fresh, fresh. And it matches my toes. So cute. I think we're good. I think we're all right. Okay, so anyways, listen. Wait. Oh, That's annoying. Um, listen, guys. I'm kind of mixed emotions today, y'all. Mixed, mixed emotions. What can I say? Let me just, let's just choke because I'm just reckless at this point. People just don't know what's going on. Go. Sorry. Okay, so listen, I am doing something that uh, I didn't think I would do, but I knew. I think it's like the right thing to do, which is to sell my camera. So this vlog, this vlogging camera is the Canon G7X Mark II. Really, really, really great camera. My only thing is like, I just want to want to upgrade so I'm meeting up with the person I'm going to be selling the camera to I don't know man these are mixed emotions like I'm happy I'm getting rid of it because I just don't want to keep things I'm not gonna be using but at the same time I'm just like damn should I just keep it for but I don't know the proper thing to do is like out with the old in with the new period you know what I mean so same goes for electronics and everything else with clothes especially when you buy new clothes like just I like to purge my closet like I got that tip from my sister and the minute like I go shopping or I order things online, I'll try my best to like donate as much as I can. And if I haven't worn you in like the past year, see ya. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to be heading over to meet up with my buyer. Ooh, I sound like I'm on like selling sunset. I'm going to go meet up with my buyer period, but no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to bring you guys along. Hey. Oh, but first, I almost forgot. I don't know, for everybody in Toronto, I know in the States, it's a hit or miss, but everybody in Canada, have you tried the ice cap with a shot of espresso? You have to, you have to let me know in the comments. I really wanna know. It's been a couple years since I've been doing this, and a few people on my Instagram stories have like said it's a game changer, but I don't know if, People on YouTube have tried it, so let me know. Ooh, it hits. Oh. <laughs> I know flavor, like what can I say? <laughs> and cap 
feed. <laughs> I am so grateful for this camera and the memories that we have with it. I hope you have a great home. I hope your new owner is amazing to you because you've been amazing to me and I've been amazing to you too. I got you accessories and things like that. So, you know, this is the box that you came with. I sound like a crazy person, but like legitimately, I keep boxes just in case people that want to buy it need or want the box or whatever. But anyways, this is the look that we got going on today. In the meantime, between time though, I am going to be filming with my iPhone, maybe? I'm gonna figure out like how to film the vlogs. So don't worry, the vlogs are still happening and I'm just waiting for the camera that I want to be back in stock. That's pretty much it. But anyways, let's... I love you. Oh! It's so weird vlogging with my phone, but Where's even the lens to look at? I'm really excited. Hopefully, I get to walk away with a camera, a new vlogging camera. Look at the quality. I don't know if you guys can even take it in without covering my face, but oh, I'm covering the mic. See, this is why I need a camera. Vlogging with my phone is great if I'm in a bind, but I always cover, I always end up covering the mic. Even when I'm FaceTiming my sister, I always end up covering the mic. But look, at, ugh, I don't know if you guys can even see this quality. It is stunning. <gasps> guys, and I can't even tell you how light this camera is. It's wild. Absolutely wild. What? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Oh. This is the demo. Behind me, they're just cashing me out, but I just wanted to feel it again because it's wild. Like the battery's obviously in there and everything. I'm blown away. I'm blown away. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Okay, so this is the Canon ZV-1. I'm filming with my Canon R6 right now to do this unboxing, but I am so excited. I've been waiting for this for so long. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. I also, FYI, did my nails literally to film this unboxing. I'm obsessed. Okay. So opening it up, we have some manuals. I believe this is a micro USB. This is probably to charge up the battery. We have here the dead cat or the dead mouse. I don't know what you guys prefer. So this is pretty much what you put on top of the mic to help with when you're like outside and you're recording and it's like super windy so you don't hear the kind of audio. I believe it's called a dead cat. I don't know why I keep calling it a dead mouse, but anyway, it's a little furry thing. And on the side here, we have ta -da, the battery, the Sony battery. This is very similar to the Canon battery that I had with my Canon G7X Mark II, but I feel like I'm gonna end up having to buy another one of these. I just know it. <laughs> but this is what the battery looks like. Super light, super light battery. And then the moment we've been waiting for, our beautiful, I don't know what to name this camera yet. Like, I feel like I want to name it just just off the strength of like, welcome home, welcome to the family. But this is what 
the camera looks like. I'm just going to turn it around. And this is what the screen in the back looks like. Pretty good real estate, not going to lie to you. My Canon used to flip like upward. This flips to the side like that. So similar to the camera that I'm using right now, which is really cool. It doesn't actually like turn so that I can cover the screen. So it's literally like that and like that. That's it. Okay, so I'm just going to pop the battery in so we can like turn it on. And the battery goes in through right here. The on and off switch is right here. Oh, hello. I'm just going to, oh, this is also not touch screen. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna enter the date and time, the region, and for the time, oh, 540. Hello, that was cool. There's my hand. Okay, let's flip it over. This is tripping me out because I'm <laughs> seeing a viewfinder through a viewfinder through a viewfinder, but anyways, um, that's me up here. Hello, and this is what the camera looks like. Oh, I'm obsessed. Let me put in the SD card and let's see what this bad boy can do. Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> this is, oh my God, the glare. Okay, hold on. The sun is a bit too much. So let's see if it can adjust. Hi. Oh my God, is this a new vibe? Is this what 4K looks like? that what we do is feasible in times like this and we were not able to be in all our parks over the last two years so I hope you'll join us for more public programming even after we close at Corktown tonight. Uh, if you weren't aware we have been here the past three Thursdays this is our fourth at Corktown Common and we'll be back again next summer uh, but we have a whole month of programming ahead of us. We are at Christy Bits Film Festival which is a grow our impact. So if you have the means to support if you would like us to come back in Corktown Common maybe even for longer next year Two little mice fell into a bucket of cream. <laughs> the first mouse quickly gave up and drowned, but the second mouse, he struggled so hard that he eventually turned that cream into butter. And he walked out. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Oh, man. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> I still have to figure out this camera, honestly, but... Oh, I don't know what's going on. It's like the complete opposite of my Canon. I don't know if you guys can relate, but this is a Sony camera and the camera that I had previous was a Canon and it's the complete opposite, like the buttons. I don't know, like, you know when it's something's muscle memory, like you just automatically want to hit record, but that's a completely different button on this camera. And so it's, ah! there's so much to learn. There is so much to learn. I have to go to the hair store because I have to pick up some hair gel and some hair mousse because like the hair, like also can we really take in like my hair is growing a lot and like it's not even that it's growing a lot, it's growing thicker and it's growing very quickly. I hope this is recording because I don't even know anymore but like that's what we're working with guys, full um, full disclosure, but anyways, I'm going to go grab some hair product. <laughs> Let's put that away. I'm going to grab some hair product and I'll be right back. They have to leave downtown first. Thank you so much. Yeah. Have a great day. Oh, can I bring a seat though? It's in the back. Oh, perfect. Thanks. Bye. Bye. See you.
Okay, so I am back and everybody asks which hair gel I use and this is the one that I've been really liking lately. It's better than the Eco Styler gel because it doesn't um, flake my hair and it doesn't have so much product buildup. So I really like that. And for the foaming mousse, I decided to get this, the Naomi one. Oh, sorry, I always say Naomi, but it's Nairobi. The Nairobi one is a bit, it's a bit expensive. And um, I don't know, I find that it doesn't dry as fast as this one. So this is the one that I've been using lately. All of these products, makeup that I'm wearing, anything that I'm kind of like showing on the vlog, I will be linking in the description box below. Honestly, shout out to everybody that's on me about like the links <laughs> down in the description box. Like sometimes, uh I'll like copy the wrong link so shout out to you guys you guys are amazing thank you so much for keeping me on my toes Whew. you know it's like riding a bike but this is like a one-wheeler like you know what I mean thanks so much for helping me out with that I will be linking these two down below so be sure to check that out I just got out of the shower, I cleansed my face, and I'm going to put on a mask, like an exfoliating mask. This one, ooh, my phone just went off. Um, this one is from Burst. They sent this to me last year, sometime, no, was it last year or earlier this year? They sent a few of their products um, sometime last year, and I've been really liking it, not gonna lie. Uh, what I've been doing though with this particular mask is kind of leaving it on my face for a few minutes that much not a whole lot but they're like I don't know if you guys can see but oh my god this camera is sick it's very like tiny like exfoliating I guess like I don't want to call it bubbles but it's exfoliation scrub yeah <laughs> you can see the scrub <laughs> took me a minute but we got there wait I just spilled some product but that's fine we move um I'm just going to Add a little bit more because I do need to get it around my forehead and my nose. I feel hair on my face. Especially on the sides. If you're watching this and you break out a lot like on the side of your face, really invest in AirPods or just like any Bluetooth headphones. Because the minute I pick up the phone and I press it against my face, immediately I get a reaction. Like the next day I'm getting like some sort of breakout. I do have one pimple like right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's fine. It's okay. It's on the side, so it's not that bad. Typically pimples come like right here, right in between my eyebrows, so that gets really annoying. But anyways, I'm just gonna rub in the product a little bit, make sure I get all the crevices, and I'm gonna let that sit for a minute, and then I'm gonna wash it off. Bad. I I'm out here washing my face, putting on my skincare, and I forgot to turn this on. Sorry. <laughs> um, I'm just putting on my eye mask right now. Not an eye mask, eye cream. Oh, you guys already know the OG Banana Bright Eye Cream. Remember, I'm gonna be linking everything down below, so make sure you guys check out the description box. So I'm just gonna put on some SPF next. It is a beautiful, beautiful day in Toronto today. And I'm at home and I'm like, no, I wanna do something. So I hit up my cousin Timbeat. If you guys aren't new to the channel, you guys know who Timbeat is. Um, so I'm gonna be linking up with her and our friend Sarah. So I'm just gonna make sure that is all up in the room. But I decided I'm just gonna like take my time getting ready. I'm not gonna rush or anything. Like, you know what I mean? And it gives me an opportunity to practice with this camera. <laughs> so many new things. Okay, so next, I'm gonna work on this hair. Ooh, okay, it's all good. We're beautiful. <laughs> it is what it is. My only thing is, it's like, now that it's short, why are you growing so fast? Do you know what I mean? Real question to everybody watching that watches um, Love Island. How do you guys feel about Love Island America? Cause I don't know, it's just not giving. Like I watched the most recent episode and I'm just like, okay, you guys, like some drama is happening, I get it, but it's just not like the UK. 
Do you know what I mean? So, I don't know. It's really interesting. You guys want like a full detail tutorial? Um, I'll link a video right over here, but I am using this foaming mousse in that video, but now I'm just using this foaming mousse. So I'm just going to grab the Extreme Pro Gel. This is the one right here. Okay. And I really, oh, I love how this smells. It smells like green apple. It's so good. So I'm just going to apply that before I comb it out. So I'm gonna just comb it out like that. Shout out to everybody that watched my last vlog, the first vlog since being back. And you guys loved it! It was so much fun being at the Barbie dream house in Toronto. It was a lot of fun being there, getting content done for you guys. I really want to take my nieces there too, um, but the place gets packed. Oh my god! Cause you forget, like when you go to brand events, it's like, oh yeah, it's just a bunch of people um, that do what you do or whatever. But it was like, not only was it that, it was their kids. Like I was just like, oh yeah, this is family friendly, <laughs> you know. So I wasn't really expecting that. So I completely forgot about it. Not that I was dressed inappropriately or whatever, but. I was just like, all right, yeah, true. There's kids here, my bad, a little bit different. Cause you go to these brand events and they'll have like cocktails, they'll, they'll have like the whole nine yards. You know what's really exciting about starting to get ready earlier than normal is I'm not gonna have to be in the Uber with my head wrap. I don't know if you guys do this, but I will literally be in a head wrap in an Uber if I need to be because like I just need my hair to dry and so far the Ubers haven't been like weird about it I haven't gotten weird reviews like it's just like I think they know the drill they're just like okay this is either a part of the outfit or her hair needs to dry like that's it like you know I'm going for a cut my hair is getting a bit too long and it's getting harder and harder to style so I'm going for a haircut mark my words if it wasn't Caravan a weekend, I would have gone this weekend, but it's like, it's packed like everywhere. I'm probably gonna have to put on my skincare again, but it is what it is. I'm gonna finish up the rest of my hair. I don't know why my hair is annoying me today, but listen, I'm gonna try to fix this side real quick and I'll be right back. Yo, the 4K is giving. <sighs> okay, so we're recording. <laughs> so I finally, did my hair, I did my brows a little bit. I feel like I have to comb this one out because it's giving like, just comb it out girl. Um, but I just put primer on my face, I forgot. I almost forgot to record this part, but I'm gonna be applying some makeup. If you guys want a full tutorial of my summer makeup, I'll link a video on the screen and in the description box below. But it's super easy, not a lot of product, very orangey blush. Cause we're a gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, so for foundation, I don't know why the pump stopped pumping for this foundation, but it did. And so I had to like take the pump out. Anyways, uh, I'm just gonna be putting a little bit in the back of my hand. I'm not gonna be putting up a lot of product. It looks like it's a lot, but it's because I'm like, trying to take out some jeez man and the next thing that i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some l'oreal infallible 24 fresh wear foundation it's a bit darker uh than the superstay by maybelline and i like to mix it because your girl's been doing the 10k walks every day and um i just been getting a bit darker so anyways I like to mix these two foundations. I'm gonna put a little bit more of that dark foundation on so that it matches us a little bit better. So I'm just gonna apply it right here. And I'm just going to 
press that into my skin. So there is still a lot of product in the back of my hand, but it's okay. I'm just gonna wipe it off. And whatever is left over, I'm just gonna put on my forehead. Uh oh, I gotta wipe this foundation off. Okay, the coloring is freaking me out, but it's okay. In real life, I look great. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Listen, I'm just gonna wipe this off because this is a hazard and I just don't wanna deal with it. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my makeup so you guys lay back, relax, and enjoy the show. <laughs> So I just finished my base, I just have some setting spray drying and all that's left to do is some mascara because I look like a bird right now <laughs> without my lashes. So I'm going to apply some mascara. If you guys know me, you guys know I like to take my time so mascara definitely takes the longest for me to do and we're pretty much right about done and we're still early. I love it. I love it. So I'm almost done getting ready. I just wanted to share this new lip gloss that I'm actually kind of obsessing over. It's this butter gloss by NYX Cosmetics. It's called Bit of Honey. And it gives me more of like a fleshy look. Like very, very, very cute for the center of my lips. Gotta clean it up a little bit. But I lined my lips with the NYX lip liner in cold brew it's just a nice brown lip liner um, but I saw this color I'm just like okay I kind of like it yeah I'm kind of into it it's really pretty I just wanted to share it with you guys <laughs> my only thing is it's like the applicator doesn't like bring up the product as much as it should you know The thing is, they really need to update that. If they can, Nix, if you're watching, just update your applicator. It's just, ugh. It takes forever. And it's not even like, it's like brand new. It's not like I've used it. Like I literally bought it two days ago when I was getting my nails done. I stopped by a shopper's and I'm just like, yeah, I need a new lip gloss for all the other lip glosses. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways. Thought I'd share that helpful little tip. If you guys are in the market for like a nudish lip gloss that complements brown skin, I would definitely check that out. And it's super inexpensive. That's what I really like about NYX. It's giving very much like, hey, you can afford it, you know? I am contemplating whether to wear this, honestly. A bunch of you on Instagram didn't really vote for this dress. Um, but I don't know. I'm really liking it. The only thing is I find that it's a bit big. I'll give you guys like a full body shot right over here. I don't know. But if I change my mind about this dress, I'll let you guys know. 